Now, tensions are also high in the Korean Peninsula after North Korea fired its most powerful solid fuel ICBM Wasong 18 on Monday. The launch came just hours after it fired a short range ballistic missile on Sunday night. The North Korean state media has released images from the launch where Kim Jong un could be seen standing next to his daughter overseeing the launch. The images also showed the dictator standing next to the massive weaponry. This was Pyongyang's first ICBM test in five months. South Korean military said that the North Korean missile flew about 1,000 kilometers before landing in the waters between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. The missile was reportedly launched on an elevated angle and in an attempt to avoid neighboring countries. Meanwhile, Japan, US and South Korea started sharing real-time data of North Korea's missile activities. Seoul's Defense Ministry said that this was in line with the effort to boost the security cooperation between the three nations. The security system was activated under a deal that was struck between the three countries last month. The deal also outlines setting up a multi-year plan for trilateral military exercises. The missile on Monday was fired while Seoul and Washington carried out joint drills. South Korean Defense Ministry said that the drills which began on Monday will last for two weeks. Kim Jong-un has repeatedly warned United States against such drills adding that it instigates the missile test launches by Pyongyang. The ICBM launch was another effort at a show of strength and a step towards Kim's resolve to accelerate his country's nuclear build-up. Kim also warned Washington against making a quote-unquote wrong decision. The back-to-back -back launches were reportedly aimed at countering the South Korea and U U.S.'s announcement of plans to bolster the joint nuclear deterrence.